lady is home from school today. It's Friday and she is prone to croup. I should. So around this time last year, okay, don't force it. Pretty much at the change of the season, um, Esme is prone to croup. And so how it happens is it's like middle of the night, I was woken up to her coughing. It wasn't really, it was must have been midnight. I actually went to bed like really early. I think it was 9 p.m. I was just done. But anyways, so she's woken up to coughing. Let's find out exactly. Croup. Croup is a type of, is that our yard? Yes. They are mowing our lawn. Oh yeah, they are here. We get our lawn mowed. Um, we're so fancy, but anyways. So, sorry, we've had a little bit of noise, but just to wrap it up, croup is basically, it's caused by a virus, and per Wikipedia, it leads to swelling inside the windpipe, which leads to a cough that sounds like a bark, and can lead to strider, and strider is like, when they breathe, if I'm not mistaken, it, it, it makes the rib cage go like, <sighs> Like it's a weird feeling and kids get really freaked out by it because when you're sleeping and you get woken up and you can't feel like you can't get the air in, it's very stressful. And then furthermore, um, they start to panic. Today she has a little bit of a hoarse voice, looks a little tired, but we slept in, obviously we called in sick for school. Um, we're just taking it easy. Anyway, so that's what's up over here. That's a little update. And today we've got a sleeping Jack, a resting Esme and a working mama. And Dean's gone out to do the groceries because it is Thanksgiving weekend and I'm pretty sure the stores will be closed at some point. Um, but we're just having like a chill weekend. And we might even do Thai food tomorrow night to celebrate Thanksgiving. So we're wild, we're wild like that. Is about to go down. Well really it's a creamy chicken and potato soup. Uh, more like a stew, so we've got the butter. I've made this a bunch of times before. Let's turn that down a smidgen. We've got in here celery, onions, carrots, various other ingredients. Jack loves this soup, so I love making it because I know he will eat so much of it and it's just filled with hearty things like chicken breast, potatoes, and then vegetables and things. And then Esme, I was just telling you guys, had croup last night and she actually specifically asked for a chicken soup, so I will see. Maybe she'll try it. Starting the day off with the coffee. Hey, kid. Back at this beautiful furniture shop. This place is incredible. That We're on the basement floor right now. We're getting inspired because we want to redo our living room and this place is very inspiring because it has so many beautiful things. Just, some are very grand that really wouldn't fit the space and some are just really quite lovely. Oh, I'm ready to see the snakes. Any? No snakes. We're hunting snakes, okay. See. Not a nothing. What a beautiful day. It's glorious out here. Oh my gosh, what a perfect weekend. We woke up so early this morning and it was raining and I thought for sure today was gonna be a write-off. Look at this, it's incredible. Oh, I love it. Are you having a nap on the door? Are you my cute baby boy? I love you. So I got my boots in the mail yesterday, you guys. These are Blundstones, and they're, the brand is generally unisex size, but this model is actually their new one, and this is called their Girlfriend line. And I have like pretty narrow feet, so they're still, you know, a very um, unisex looking type of shoe, but the Girlfriend line has the white trim, and is a little more narrow because we tend to have more narrow feet. So anyway, I'm loving them though. Super comfortable and I don't feel like blistery or anything. Um, and I got these cute little socks from Costco, little wool socks. I think I'm gonna wear the crap out of these. There's my Nora. Do not drink apple juice. Oh, hi Nora. No. Hi Nora. That's, she doesn't need apple juice. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, little Nora, you're so sweet. We missed you. We missed you. We miss you. You were outside. We were outside and we said, Where, where's Nora? So I just finished editing the pumpkin challenge that I filmed with Dean. So if you missed it, click the I over here and you can see that video. Um, I'll also link it below. But gosh, that took me forever to edit. Like, I don't know what the heck. I think with Esme getting croup and then just being a holiday weekend, it's just, there's no time. So I need to get more organized. <laughs> Story of my life. Yeah. <laughs> And dip, dip, woo, into the sun. Hey, Jackie. So the day can fly. This is what I've been
the toast on the go for Jack. It's a good morning so far. You're fast. Thanksgiving walks. Are you fast? I'm pretty fast sometimes. Out on a nice little family walk. Grandpa came out to visit. We had a nice chicken last night and the stuffing and all the stuff. You gotta love leftovers. We're gonna have some lunch. For those of you that don't celebrate Thanksgiving or this is a new concept, cranberry sauce, this is some rutabaga and carrot for a veg, mashed potatoes, a chicken gravy. I did a chicken instead of a turkey. This is just stuffing for the, you don't eat that, but that's inside the chicken. And then we have some stuffing or dressing. And this is like bread and some apricots and onions and chicken broth and all this lovely stuff. It's certainly a staple in our Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners. It's a very North American thing. Um, now I'm not sure that they do that in other cultures to be honest, but I really enjoy it. Um, and it used to be that you would stuff it in the bird. That's how people used to do it. But now with the stuff like salmonella poisoning, you don't. You cook it like a side dish in a casserole and it's really quite delicious. So one of my favorite things to have at Thanksgiving. I also made another pumpkin loaf and this time from that challenge video, which if you missed it, you need to see it, but I added one extra egg and it stuck together much nicer. Just wrapping up the day and here's Esme's lunch. So we did some ham, croissant, fruit, veg, cheese, little pumpkin loaf, apricots, crackers, and I'm adding in one of these little um, veggie carrot fruit thingy, applesauce. Grandpa got Jackie this really cool book, The Darkest Dark. Should we go read it? Sure. Okay, let's go read it. Okay. Sure, baby, I'll fix it. I said ruin that one. No, you didn't ruin it. We'll put it back together. I said broke it. No, no, it's not broken. It said, I will fix it. Yeah, let's go. I'll fix it. Let's go. You little go. cute patoot. I'm coming. <laughs> that breakfast looks pretty yummy. Eggs and toast for the win. I had an egg and two pieces of toast. That was awesome. And Dean got back from Colombia last night and check it out. He found his Juan Valdez coffee. It's so nice. It's sitting in there, which is delicious. Esme's off at school and we were kind of on the fence, like do I send her to school? She's a little bit of a lingering cough, but she's fine. It's just kind of, I mean, that cough could last a week, right? So I'm gonna get ready and my boys and I are gonna head out, gotta run a few errands. And it says I have zero minutes left on my battery, damn it. But I went specifically to get Jackie a little fleece hoodie. How cute is this? Now this is kind of big. This is an extra small in children. So I think the arms are gonna be too long, but he's such like a stocky boy that the junior size is were too small, or the kid, I don't, you know what I'm saying. So anyways, so cute. Here I was thinking it was my battery that was having issues. Nope, nope, just a full SIM card, as it happens. Okay, so I got Jack that cute pullover, and the reason for the pullover, because I didn't normally want to spend $45 on a fleece pullover, that said, it is long enough that it will last him into next year, um, but my child does not want to wear a jacket, so anything with a zipper, he unzips and takes off. So that doesn't help me. And this is obviously gonna be bulky enough, like big enough that he can have layers underneath because I'm realizing that's how it's gonna roll with my, my little guy. So anyways, that's a great purchase. And I think it's really cute. Like I love the gray on gray with the, um, the nice green zipper and it's North Face. I mean, I splurged a little bit. I never buy that kind of stuff for him. So anyways, his sister's always getting the cute stuff. Speaking of his sister, I got Esme a little thermos. Um, I picked it up from sale, same place as that one, uh, which is an outdoor shop. And this is kind of nice. It's not huge or anything, because really, how much is she gonna eat? But I wanna put noodles and stuff and warm things. Um, she's getting more adventurous with what she eats, and so I'd like to encourage that, and also switch up what we eat every now and then. And it sounds super lame, but maybe for the first time, I might just do noodles with butter. <laughs> and see like how it works and if she enjoys that for lunch. So that's awesome. Also got this one for Dean. Um, as you know, he travels a bunch for his work. Like he went to Columbia yesterday. He just got back from Columbia. So somebody's a little bit tired back there. Occasionally he does do longer haul flights like where he's away for a bit and it is nice to have a nice meal. Like he loves chowders and yummy soups. We also hit up a Gap. I guess it's a factory outlet store. Dean got some really nice stuff. He got himself a bunch of stuff, but the one thing is I am living for these fleecy, cozy shirts. They're so comfortable. So I went with this light, I guess it's like a gray, almost like a bluish gray print. It does have, you know, the checkered pattern. It's super cozy, super soft. So I went with that. This is always the struggle. 
do I put him in the bed for a nap or no? I don't know. And that guy right there just bought a slider. I'm so excited for filming, like, you know, you can pan and stuff like that. There he is, We're just running a bunch of errands. Anyways, you guys, that's it. I'm gonna go home and edit this vlog and get it ready for you. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye.